Welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. You know, looking at the world map, I noticed that several continents have been split down the middle. By rivers? Like, by rivers or something, because you can see one on the far right, one on the southern continent. Yeah. And then there's a second river on the eastern continent that's, like, trying real hard, but only got about halfway there. Which I guess is kind of sad, because you can see a lake in the eastern, northeastern part of the continent. Mm-hmm. That's just like, if it goes down a little further, it could literally slice through everything. And it may just give but it another couple hundred years. That's one thing I hate the most about certain games into other games, to where it's like, oh, it's a sequel, but the map's completely different, and it's like, okay, how far ahead does this take? It's like, oh, a couple hundred years. You cannot do that in a couple hundred yeah, years. I know the environment will change over a couple hundred years, but not that much. It's like Dragon Quest IV and the Dragon Quest V. They go like, oh, it's technically the same world. It's just the places are a little different. It's like, I get that maybe villages would come and go and kingdoms and all that, but it's like you're trying to sell me on the fact that the continents would shift in a couple <laughs> hundred years. I think Chrono Trigger did that real well. Because you could it, still find yeah, pretty it, recognizable areas between each it, section, it had but there to were for thousands the, upon thousands of years between each time period. It had to for the sake of keeping it, you know, the same and everything, but mm -hmm. it's like, the continents we know now have been around for like, what, millions of years, something like that? It's, it's probably not that much. I don't, I don't know I don't specifically know. when all continents kind of just align to where they're at. In the comments, tell us when Pangea was... Like I'm sure ago. Pangeo. I'm sure with the millions. Do you want to know what the word for like the oceans when the continents first showed up? Panthalassa. Yeah, because it was like the it was one just ocean. Yeah, it was just the one ocean. Also, anyway, it's just fun to say Panthalassa. That is a fancy word. Anyway, um, so last time we went into Vector. Yeah. In the hopes of finding a way to bring Terra back. Terra back. Well, it was. We kind of ended up running away with our tail between our legs, and we lost um, Celeste was, along the way. Honestly, it was the most roundabout way, because it was like Ramu wanted us to help the other espers mm -hmm. there, and he was basically like, if you do that, they'll come back and help Terra. And I was like, okay, we'll do that. And it was just like, it was an excuse to get more espers, honestly. That was the whole point. Yeah, we kind of ended up running away with our tails between our legs, and we lost Celeste along the way. But hey, we did get some espers, and they did wake Terra back up, because as it turns out, one of them's her dad. Yeah, it was mostly just... It, that, that was probably it. He was probably like, go to that place and go get the espers, and it was just like, one of them happened to be the father of, you know, the person who needs the help and everything. Uh, so, we also now have complete control over the blackjack. As seen here. So we can actually fly around and go wherever we want to go on the world map. With the world map opening up to us now, there's a couple things that you want to do, or at least potentially want to do. Uh, one, you want to head back over to the Velt, because Gal can get so many more rages now. I did a bunch of that off screen earlier. Yeah, we still don't have every one that we could have, but it gets a there gets to a point where it's kind of tedious. In fact, I've already set up our party for the time being, which is going to be the B team. But I didn't get a lot of. Yeah, we haven't seen any time. of these characters in a while. So. Uh, they also have their espers equipped. In fact, we spent so long on the belt that Terra and Cyan actually completely. What's the? Did they actually give us a word for when we? Completely attuned to a Casper. I I'm uh, just. I'm gonna stick with the tone. Atto we attuned, or we maxed one. Yeah, we attuned 100 to. We learned all the magic. Yeah. Ironically, the first one I did for Terra was her father. So, I mean, fitting. Yeah. So essentially, she has the tier two spells now, and I have her on unicorn now because I figure it's like she kind of seems cure dependent, and it's also nice. Just be to nice have to these. have some heals anyway. Yeah. I really need to spread the heals around, but... And, let's see, he had Phantom for a bit, because I was just like, well, of course I'm going to give the Samurai gravity magic. <laughs> I love One Piece, why wouldn't I do that? He also got Berserk and Vanish out of that, but it's like... We're just here for the funsies. Jolly good, I guess, for him? I don't care. 
And so now I have him on Shiva. So he'll learn a cure spell eventually, but he'll also get st uh, some ice magic and some other like. I should probably throw that on her at some point, uh, Terra at some point as well, just to make sure we keep up with osmosis. No ones on any of these acquisition rates either, thank heavens. Yeah. It's funny that the cure is like on Shiva for some reason, but. He currently has. Catobolus. Ball? Catobus? Catoblopus? Well, I'm trying to see if I can oh. pronounce it like table, but it's like tobel. Cobble. So it's like catobolpus. Cat but yeah, he has that, which is funny because if you don't know anything about Setzer, you can see it right next to his name there. He's a bit of a gambler, so I stuck him with the one that gives him bio break and death. Fitting. Which, yeah, considering that one of his reels on his slot machine can give you, can literally total party wipe the party if you're not careful with it, is definitely one of those, like, yeah, the guy seems to be like, ah, death, I would definitely go with that. And Gal is Bismarck, because I find that funny for some <laughs> reason, which is basically you get the tier one basic spells, but you also get rays, but it's like... <laughs> give Gal the rays. I really had no other reason not to. I mean, the 20, uh, 20 acquisition rate for the tier 1 spells is nice, at least. Also get strength up from that, though. That's weird. But he also got a bunch of rages, which is basically like, uh, There you go, that's like all the rages I cared to really work out. Yeah, and so I did spend an amount of time cataloging all the enemies we've seen, and how many rages we've learned of those. So we have, like, something to go by, but we don't have a bestiary in this game. I think maybe we unlock it later. If if we get a bestiary, it's either going to be something we unlock later or it's, like, an optional thing. Yeah, we have to I go think get. it's something we unlock later. Um, so there are some that I may have marked as having seen that we have not actually seen, but... Yeah, I know it's a work in progress. There's definitely some we have missed because we've gone past the point. Because yeah, think there are a couple enemies back. we've missed. There yeah. are at least two on the Phantom, Phantom Train. train. Yeah, we just can. off the top of my head. Uh, I think the I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think the back and forth that's kind of annoying with this game is like I like that it gives every character a personality with just abilities, mm -hmm. but it's also like, ooh, I could find. Where's Veil Dancer here? It's like, I could find uh, Veil... Right. Yeah. I could find Veil Dancer. And so he'll cast... He'll either attack, or he'll cast Blizzara the whole th time. Or I could just, you know, teach him Blizzara <laughs> and just have him cast that. It's just one of those, like... It feels kind of point... The only, the only thing that makes it slightly better is the fact that his rages don't consume MP. Mm. Because I did that a couple times when we were getting some stuff. Because we need money for other things, as you can see. ka ching, ka -ching down there. Um, yeah, we still need a bit more money, but that'll get us by for now. Yeah, but it's, it's just one of those, like, it's the trade-off. It's like, either you can control him and use the specific magic you want, which is, like, way more positive, or you can just go down and find, like, a specific rage and just have him stick for that for the rest of the battle. Oh, and if you're what? doing, like, a boss fight, it's... What was it? Was it, was it Xenosaga Episode 2, I think? Where I remember talking with a friend at work who was real big on the Xenosaga series. I'm, I feel sorry for him. And is that specific... Is that the one that Jesus shows up in, like, the third game? Yeah. And it's, like, just blatantly Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and you're just like, fucking what? A lot of, um... Yeah, like it's overt. Um, it's like Christianity. Good stuff. lot, good lord. The Mega Ten games don't blatantly have Jesus in there, and they just beat around the bush there a couple times. Like they go, they go diving all. But that's as an aside. I know. Um, I I do want to poke at that at one point, but anyway, yeah. So I, I remember talking to a friend about that, and um, I enjoyed episode one. And he was trying to hype me up about episode two, but I had kind of read some stuff, and I'm going, I don't know about that. And one thing was how you can build characters. Because episode one, each character had their own 
identity. You could build them up, or you couldn't build them. They built up to fill their own niche. I hate to say it like this, but because you're talking about a Xeno Saga game, but you, I'm going to say, like, do you mean like the Saga games? <laughs> uh, but in episode two, do or it was episode three, one of the two, um, they let you do a lot of customization on each character. Mm-hmm. You could even customize, like, their stats, what abilities they learned, like, going through the whole trees and everything. And you could make anybody, you could, like, complete customization, do anything to anybody. And... Dude saying, like, yeah, but it's so great because you can make anybody anything. And I'm like, I don't want that. It's it's a back and forth. Some games can make it work where you can go, like, oh, I can make anybody anything. But sometimes it's just like... Well, like, if you give me four blank slates... Yeah. Then I can kind of go, okay, cool. I can, yeah, like, this, this do one, this with this and this with this, this with this. This guy hit hard. This guy hit also kind of hard, but do magic. This guy does this thing, and this guy does heal stuff. But if maybe. you give me four guys all with distinct personalities, distinct appearances, you maybe have, like, a small, skinny little person that when you first encounter him is kind of all right at magic, and then you get another big, strong guy that's kind of stronger than everybody else, and you can just go, yeah, but I'm going to make the big, strong guy the mage. I'm not going to lie, I did Final Fantasy 2 on the Game Boy Advance, and I went like, I'm going to make Guy the healer. So it was just one of those, but it's like, kind of doesn't make sense, because he's kind of... Okay. I want to say he's thick. And not in the dummy thick way, more of the hidden brain kind of different. A wide boy. He is very huge. Too, anyway, so he is dummy thick. Anyway, so um, back on track where we're supposed to be going. Yeah, aside from to... aside from that, we need to go to Zen. Zen, where are you now? I'm in Jador. Jador. Uh, Jador has an auction house. Yeah, and there's stuff you can get there. <laughs> an auction house? I haven't heard that in the Final Fantasy XI age. <laughs> I guess we join in the bidding. I don't know a lot about what's going on. I wonder if they give you clues. Because I don't necessarily want to, like, go in for a bid and be like, Oh, no, I like mean, this I would thing. Ass- I would assume we can... They tell you what you're bidding on. Yeah, we were also hoping to do something with that in Vector, and we sure didn't. Oh, yeah, the Phoenix. Sorry, the Hot Wings Magicite. That one is a joke for things. All right, let's try to see what we got for bidding here. There's that stupid piano theme. Yep, next item up for bid. Oh, hey, the Zona Seeker. Zona Seeker. Do I hear 500 gil? 1,000. A Zona Seeker, I think, will run you about 10k. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Come on now, don't be shy. I'm gonna bid 7,000. Sure, do it. 7,000. Oh, there's nothing I can't buy. 8,000. Dang it. Come on now, don't be shy. 10,000. Soul! <laughs> what? That's not how auctioning works. You're supposed to give it like several more attempts for like. I get for gameplay. Yeah. So it's just like. And you get the item because nobody else can literally use the Magicite in this whole thing. You go, y'all don't even know what this thing is. How did you even get this thing? <laughs> Tara. <laughs> Pouncing Yay! up and down. Yeah. I got the departed soul of somebody who probably knows my father, who is also a departed soul. Wow, this is a dark twist, this <laughs> whole auctioning. But you can also talk to him sometimes. Hey, Tara, go talk to your dad. So we got Zona Seeker, who is awkwardly down there because we don't have the corresponding... One on the left, yeah. Yeah. Magic shield increases... Is this the one that... No, it can't be the one that looks like that. Increases the party's magic defenses. You give Rasp, Osmos, and Shell. Boy, that, you're going to get that Rasp in all of, like, one fight. Yeah. You get Osmos packed, too, so... I can probably almost skip Shiva for a bit. Shell's nice, but... 
they'll eventually patch that out and just raise our defenses up properly. Yeah, because really all you do is cast at the start of the fight before you actually start the fight and then forget about it. So oh, God forbid you die halfway through. And you kind of just a waste of time. Yeah, you lose Protect and Shell. All right, so that was it for that bidding. Can we come back in immediately after? I think that might be one of those things. I would hope. Join in the bidding. So that was 10,000. All right, all right, all right. Oh, a chocobo. It's chocobo! This, this one will knock your socks a off. A Stay at the chocobo. Your life... Ah, uh, this is this thing. I know this bit. Do I hear a thousand? This Five is not thousand? something we need. We can't, we can't get it. It's literally the kid and his dad will outbid everyone mm. for way too much. I mean, I want that. Well, it's just a talking chocobo. And? No, you don't. I think it's just a toy of some sort. Mm, probably. I, mean, I still want it. Go get Setzer to keep it on his ship. I wouldn't even bother. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make them work for it. <laughs> you got money to flaunt? flaunt? Make it worth my time, boys. Yeah, see, he... Oh, bids, well... <laughs> yeah, he bids way too much for everything. All right. I think you put an extra zero on that, friend. <laughs> it's like you can attempt to bid on them, but he will just literally outbid you anytime. Mm. Oh, it actually does walk. I think it is actual Chocobo. That are like an animatronic. Turns out we gotta go. I wanted a chocobo. Yeah, it turns out we gotta go kill them now because that actually holds like one of the rarest magicites. <laughs> but I'm hoping for at least there's one more magicite up and some equipment. I'm hoping for at least the other magicite. Chocobo again. Okay. Oh, Good. item. Angel wings. Oh, cool. Um, so angel wings are a relic that you can equip. Equipping it gives you auto float. Which is like immunity to uh, ground-based attacks. I think the angel wings are another 10k, so you can probably go for that one. Yay. I attained angel wings. I just want to leave and come yeah, back just in leave. and just see if it yeah, goes straight see. into the chocobo, because it might... If my theory is correct, and it's not necessarily going to be correct, it might be one of those, I have to leave town to reload the whole mm -hmm. area. Nope. Nope. Ooh, the Golem, Golem Magicite. Magicite. This one will run you 20k. Yeah, that'll be like most of our money gone. Okay, folks, calm it down with your bidding. It's like 15k. 18k, just see Terra jump over and stab her. I said 15k. Okay, so that's both magicites we can get out How's of your here. three chocobos working out for you, bitch? Yeah, give me a second. I just want to see how much we have left, because it's like... We do not have enough money to buy the last piece of equipment. It's probably like, what, 20k? It's another 20k. Yeah. And there is yet another piece of magicite that we need a little bit of money for. So... We'll probably just want to save up a little bit of money and come back for that piece of equipment later. I I know it's earthen wall because it's just what it's supposed to be. But it's stone skin. Don't lie to me. <laughs> we get protect, stop, and cura. Cura's got a pretty good rate. What do I have on unicorn? I think it's... Yeah, it's actually faster hmm. than unicorn. But you get three spells in comparison to what unicorn's giving you. Uh, well, I'll worry about it another time. I'm not really, like, that stressed about it. Mm. So, we have one more Magicite and one more equipment to get from this, but we don't have the stuff for it now. Um, you don't get the Magicite here. There's just one more piece of equipment here, and oh, okay. it's the Angel Ring, which right. gives auto-regen to whoever has it equipped, which is real nice. Yep, cats float on the wear. Um, but that'll be 20k. A couple other things to do... Uh, let's see here. We'll come back for that later. Wanna go beat up a grenade? Where is this thing? 
Yeah, let's go and take out the grenade while I'm trying to figure out where the other thing is. Where is the grenade? Um, back near the veldt. Ah. There should be a forest over there. I think potentially separated by... water. It's probably this... that section you were talking about where it's cut apart. Yeah, maybe over there. Hold up. Ah, that's funny. If you hit left trigger, mm -hmm. you can just, like, on the axis, just... Mm. Yeah, yeah, maybe over the here. Forest. So this is called the Bomb Forest. That does not fill me with glee of any kind. Because it's filled with bombs, I'd say. Since bombs. Um, mostly it's bombs that you'll run into. Never Ooh, mind. Okay. That's not what I was expecting at all. Maybe this isn't the bomb forest. Maybe I just went to the wrong section of the bomb forest. I think this is the wrong... I think this may be the wrong forest. Let's go cross back over that river. I mean, I'll be happy these will show up on the belt. Also, Devour and Chimera. Devour? Yeah, we're not supposed to encounter these guys for a while. I could tell because they're kicking the crap out of us. Uh, Devour has 420 HP. 10 attack, 10 magic, weak to lightning. We'll use Shell Snowstorm. Slam and Tentacle. Well, I'll also just use Snowstorm, so. That's all it says it's got. Uh, the Chimera. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, that other thing. Sorry, I thought you were talking. I thought you were talking about the Chimera. Oh. The Chimera has 2,237 HP, 25 attack, 10 magic. This thing will kick the crap out of you. It's, it's immune to most good. statuses, effectively making it a mini-boss. It can use Romp, Snowstorm, Fireball, Cyclonic, and Aqua Breath. Let's go look somewhere else, because I don't think this is where they... I don't think this is the place. On the plus side, they're now on the belt. Yeah, so what was that? Devour and Chimera? Yes. Let me add them to the list. Bomb for it. It's on the belt. It's not on the belt. There's a forest at the belt, right? Okay, there's the Chimera. Is this it? It's the only other forest nearby. Maybe. It's west of the belt, though. That may be it. Okay, there's the Chimera. Does the Devour... Devour. I mean, the plus side was that thing gave us like 15,000, 1,500 experience for everyone. So. All right. Okay, so anyway, not over there. There we go, the bomb forest. There's a bunch of bombs over here. There is a slim chance of encountering a grenade enemy over here, which is a rare enemy. So if you want to complete the bestiary and additionally get a thing for Gao, this is where you go for it. And I mean disgusting, I mean like, don't eat- oh, grenade showed up. Hey! Grenades! This is just a rare encounter, nothing too crazy about them. 3,000 HP. Well, I took out half- over half of it, so... 13 attack, 10 magic, weak to ice and water. Mesmerize. It can use Mesmerize, which inflicts Berserk, did that. Blaze, and Fireball. I don't need no more of that. All right, Bio. Completely forgot. Bio gives them a poison effect. And it's dead. Forever. We're good now. We did it. It's cool. all you need. Fight it once. And that'll add it to the bestiary and... The belt. The belt. On other note, remember where we fought that Chimera? Uh, do I have to go back and punch it? No, you don't. Um, back where we fought that Chimera... Um, there's a couple pieces of good equipment you can get over there. The Chimera has a chance to drop gold armor. Oh, there's a place here. Yeah, there is. Should we stop by, or is this If one? you want. There's not really much of note there right now. Well, I'm gonna stop by here anyway. Um, the Chimera Just... itself can drop gold armor, and there's another enemy in there where the rare steel oh, is nice. some good... I don't know, it's some good armor of some kind or another. Hmm. 
Um, that's a steal, though, and it's a rare steal. So, like, you can get it, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. And once you can eventually buy things from this town, you can just buy it here instead. But right now, everybody just kind of goes, I don't like your face. And turns you away. But I'm so pretty. Yes, Terry, you are. Plot Is... will eventually take us here. I figured, but I might as well just gather around town. Anything that's like, come back later for it, or... The heck if I know. I wouldn't worry about it. Ooh, eye drops. Ooh. Is this the relic shop? Because that is... Maybe? That... If it had the line above it, it would literally be the scholar mm. symbol. Bookstore. Probably. I think it's the relic store. I'm going by the map. Map go on. Map go off. Map go on. Map go off. Ooh, gold needle. What's the gold needle do? Is that like uh, petrification? Yeah. Oh, I know this thing. It's a well. <laughs> I know what this is. It's a well. But yeah, good thing I have a ship I can sleep on for free. At least they let you, though. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll turn you away from everything else. At least they let you stay at the inn. Yeah. I'm happy the one guy goes like, Oh, he overcharges you out the butt for it, though. Echo screen. That's probably for silence. Yeah. Probably prevents silence. Like, you put it up and you can't be silenced. I'm pretty sure this is a daikon. I think I brought that up before. But the... Those are actually really big radishes, if you ever see them. They're big Why? boys. Why was Raditz just called Radish when he could have gone for Daikon, a pun? Ooh. Well, now you have. Will you talk to me? Oh, a funny thing. I was reading Dragon Ball, like the original, like the first arc and everything with Pilaf. Mm -hmm. A couple weird things. For some odd reason, they call the Pilaf gang Reich Pilaf hmm. in the English translation. It's I like, mean, I guess. It's like you're not wrong, but why specifically Reich Pilaf? It's like, it's I, a cor I it's guess, a, it's a but... perfectly cromulent word, <laughs> but it's just one of those, like, the Pilaf gang was right there. Hey, you look familiar. I almost thought he was Kefka for a moment. He had too <laughs> much of the Kefka yeah. color. Or, not familiar, but you look different, let's say. Do you know a Kefka by chance? No. I know my son, Klefka. Okay. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. His name starts with C's. Um. Ripe cherry. When no, it's white cherry. Remember Monster Carrot? The Carrot Gang? Yeah. And all that? Man, they are not happy people. Um. Can I get up to that grave? That doesn't look like it. Nah, that's just probably just like, it's there for flavor and everything. Yeah, okay. I hadn't seen you over here before, so that's why I came over here. Um, when Goku hears the word carrot for the first time, he has an image bubble for carrot mm -hmm. and everything, and I thought like, is this the reason he went for Kakarot for his name? Hmm. Just because of the carrot gang bit? 